Will you take your seats, honorable members? Order. 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 Order, honorable members. Order. Order, order, order. 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 Order, members. Order. Order. Order, honorable members. Order. 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 Order, members. Order. Take your seats, members. Will you take your seats? Order. Order, members. Order. 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 Will you take your seats, members? Order, members. Order of Shomba. Order. Order. Order, members. Order. Order, members. Order. 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 Order, members. Order. Order, members. Will you take your seats, members? Order. Order, members. Honorable, take your seat, honorable senior council. Order, honorable members. Member for Muranga. Member for Gidunguri. You are inviting the chair to exclude you from the house if you continue this rowdy behavior. You are supposed to be honorable members. And you carry honor to this house for the people who elected you, not by shouting. Kofi Annan always said, I have a soft voice with a strong, powerful message. What I'm seeing happening, and some members, like member for Gidunguri, member for Kisumu West, if you continue this rowdy behavior, women rep for Busia, in fact, I have always operated under an illusion that our female colleagues carry greater levels of decency than the male ones. Today, it appears to be the total opposite. Let's be orderly. You will make your point through your vote and not through how loudly you shout. Your own children out there are watching you live. Your husbands are watching you live. If you continue behaving like that, 
it is most unfortunate. Otenda Molo, you have two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I must confess that the Honorable Mithika Linturi is my friend, and because he's my friend, that's why I'm supporting this motion. Mr. Speaker, first of all, should the Cabinet Secretary take responsibility for the motion and the issue at hand? The answer is yes. Why? Because we have it on his own authority that he's supposed to. The document attached, dated March 24th, signed by him at paragraph 8, page 12, says the ministry ensures that agricultural produce are of the right quality. It is the ministry. Who is the head of the ministry? The cabinet secretary. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, secondly, should we defeat the motion so that the agriculture committee completes its work? The answer is no. Why? A select committee under Article 152 is superior and has a very clear timeline than the agricultural committee. It only has 10 days. So all the reasons adduced in defense of the cabinet secretary should be adduced to that select committee. If you believe the minister is without culpability, support the motion so that we have that committee so that it says the minister is not culpable. What we are dealing with is more than criminal responsibility. What we are accusing the minister is what we call culpable maladministration. Someone has to take police political responsibility. If we don't go as high as the president, we must go as high as the minister. Mr. Speaker, we speak for the Mira farmers of Meru, for the coffee farmers in central region, for the tea farmers and the maize farmers in the Rift Valley region. And that is the club, that is the, you know, that's the area that feeds this whole country. If we, as a national assembly, cannot speak for them, who will speak for them? The president could have saved us this and sacked the minister. But because he has not, we must stand up to be counted. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Order, you only donated to two members. Honorable Go. Speaker, I beg your indulgence. I will not indulge you. Can you reply? <coughs> Sarah was my second. I will not indulge you, either for faith, your time, or reply. Honorable Speaker, and Honorable Nabi is my angle. A curse may befell me, Honorable Speaker. Just one minute. Either you reply or you take your seat. Honorable Speaker, I want to implore to this House again, once again, Honorable Members, we are people's representatives. We were voted by farmers who cannot even afford a meal, Honorable Members. Honorable Speaker, my heart goes to those women in the villages who are watching us now on, 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 on TV who went to buy fertilizer and turned out to be fertilizer gushi. Honorable members, kindly, it is not about Kenya Kwanza, it is not about Azimio. It is a moral question. We are not targeting the Meru community, honorable members. Members, you would understand, this is not the first scandal that has, uh, uh, that has fallen at the feet of this minister. We had wrong sugar. Honorable Speaker, we had contaminated sugar released for public consumption, for crying out loud. For how long do you want the members of the public to suffer so that as a house we act? Yes. Mithika is a minister. They went and imported sugar that was contaminated, that was not good. That was not fit for human consumption. Shame. It went to the people. Shame. Cancer cases are now very high. There is a close relationship between cancer and contaminated sugar, edible oil. For when are we going to stand for our people? Honorable members, I beseech you, I beseech you as your colleague, that let's listen to the suffering of the Kenyan people, of the Kenyan Wamboi of the Kenyan Wanjeku, who has, who cannot be here to speak. Please, for once, let's listen to them. It is not about parties. It is not, and I insist, it is not. Now, Honorable Speaker, a lot of people were reluctant to append their signatures because members of this House 
have used that opportunity to go and collect bribes from people. Order, Honorable I, Amboka. You are out of order. I withdraw, Honorable Member. You are I, totally I out of order. I, I withdraw. On that, I withdraw and apologize. And apologize. Order. Order, Honorable Members. Order. Order. Honorable Amboka. Order, Honorable Members. Order, Sirma. Don't get carried away. Order. Don't get carried away and cast aspersions against your colleagues. Just stick to your motion. I withdraw, Honorable Members. Withdraw I withdraw and apologize. apologize to the House. I withdraw and apologize. Thank you. And Honorable Members, I beg to reply. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Order, Honorable Members. Order. Order, Honorable Members. Before I put the question, order. Before I put the question, you know this is a motion that has constitutional guidance as to the threshold of the vote. So once I put the question, we'll not have a voice vote. We'll proceed to ring the bell, and I direct that the bell will ring for five minutes. Once we close the ringing, we draw the bars, and I did direct you earlier on that we must save the House's time by voting electronically. I hope you have your gadgets working. We've All the honorable members, now I'll put the question. And uh, you have your order paper. I will not read the particularized charges. I'll only read the main charges that pursuant to the provisions of Article 152.6 of the Constitution and Standing Order 64.1a and 66, this House resolves that the President dismisses the Honorable Franklin Mythical Linduri from the Office of Cabinet Secretary for the Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Development on the following grounds. Order. Order. One, gross violation of the Constitution gross violation of Article 46 of the Constitution, gross violation of Article 73 of the Constitution, gross violation of Article 201 of the Constitution, gross violation of Article 232 of the Constitution, serious reasons for believing that the Cabinet Secretary has committed a crime under national law, a serious reasons for believing the Cabinet Secretary has committed a crime under Sections 100 and 101 of the Penal Code, Cap 63. Serious reasons for believing the Cabinet Secretary has committed a crime under Sections 353 and 355 of the Penal Code, Cap 63. Gross misconduct, which is that the Minister has failed to exercise public trust in the best interest of the people of Kenya, and this amounts to gross misconduct, contrary to Section 8 of the Leadership and Integrity Act, CAP 185C, has failed in the performance of his duties to the best of his ability to carry out the duties of the office efficiently and honestly, and to carry out the duties in a transparent and accountable manner, and this amounts to gross misconduct, conduct section 10A and B of the Leadership and Integrity Act, CAP 185C, has failed to demonstrate professionalism in carrying out duties of the office in a manner that maintains public confidence in the integrity of the office, and this amounts to gross misconduct, conduct to Section 11A of the Leadership and Integrity Act, CAP 185C, misled the public by submitting false information to the Departmental Committee of the National Assembly that GPC Diatomaceous was distributed as a soil conditioner and not as a fertilizer, and this amounts to gross misconduct, 
Conduct Section 29 of the Leadership and Integrity Act, Cap 185C. Will you now, uh, Sergeant, ring the bell for five minutes? The Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Dr. Moses Wetangula, currently presiding over the business of the House, where the House was just a few minutes ago, considering the special motion uh, brought to the House by Honorable Member for Bumula, Honorable Jack Wamboka. Uh, the special motion pertains to the dismissal of Honorable Mithika Linturi, as a cabinet secretary for agriculture, livestock, and development. And the speaker has just directed the sergeant to terms to ring the quorum bell for five minutes, after which members uh, will be uh, voting in regards to whether the House uh, will be forming uh, a special select committee to consider the matter. This is a motion that has elicited a mixed reactions from members this morning. Uh, some in support of the motion saying the buck stops with the cabinet secretary and that there's need for the country and for the parliament to protect uh, the country's food bas basket and uh, the farmers at large. Members against the motion uh, say that they are responsible entities that are charged with the responsibilities of procuring fertilizers for farmers. And therefore, the cabinet secretary is not the accounting authority in regards to this particular docket. These are interesting perspectives that came from the chamber this morning. And we'll be awaiting to see how uh, the members will be uh, voting. This will be an electronic vote that members will be undertaking in a few minutes, say in the next two minutes or so, to determine whether... Uh, the House will be uh, proceeding to form an 11-member committee to investigate uh, the charges leveled against Franklin Mithika Linturi, the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture and Livestock. In the motion by the member for Bumula, the member has uh, listed a couple of uh, grounds for removal, among them a gross violation of the Constitution, In the motion, uh, the member states that the minister committed gross violation of the constitution provision by not undertaking, among others, public participation with leaders, stakeholders, or even departments within the ministry in the implementation of far-reaching policy and decisions on matters to do with the procurement and distribution of fertilizer. And according to the Honourable Member, uh, the action by the Cabinet Secretary violated uh, the provisions of the Constitution on national values and principles of good governance. As required by one who is holding a state office. The Member for Bumula, who is the mover of this motion, also says in this motion that the cabinet secretary committed gross violation of the constitution by approving procurement and distribution of fake fertilizer by the National Cereals and Produce Board. This, he says, is a gross violation of uh, national values and principles of good governance in a, so as far as he acted as a state officer to make as well as implement a public policies, policy rather, and approve the procurement as well as distribution of fake fertilizer 
and this is contrary to article 10 subsection 1b of uh, the constitution members of Thank you, suits members. Order. Thank you, suit. Order, honorable members. Order. Thank you, suits. Order. Order, members. Member for Kericho. Thank you, suit. Order members, take your seats. Honorable Bashir, take your seats. Order. Order honorable members, take your seats and keep your silence. Order honorable members, take your seats. If you read your standing orders, when a vote is called, no member is allowed to move about the chamber. You must be in your seats, member for Maraquet, is it? Who is this member on the feet? That is uh, Yegon. Take your seat. Member for Bometis, take your seats. Baba Wino, take your seat. Members, in your induction, I'm sure you remember you are told during voting time, no member is allowed to walk about the chamber. Members must maintain silence until we have finished the vote and the results of the vote announced. I'll now direct the clerk to test the gadgets for electronic voting. After they confirm that we're okay with that, then you'll be advised to log in. Can we now have the bars drawn? Any member who is out once you draw the bar will not be allowed in. Doors locked. Excellent. Clark, are the gadgets working? Maintain your silence for one minute as they test the gadgets. Okay, members, log in. Members, log in. Oh, down here, keep again. What are you doing? in the aisle. Take your seat, I'll give you an opportunity. Members, have you logged in? Okay, now let's, that was a trial run. Now, take, remove your cards. Log in. There are three votes yes, no, and abstention. Members, you may now proceed to vote. Hold on. Order, honorable members, can you pull your gadgets again? When you log in, you hold for 60 seconds. Then the equipment will be automatically activated for you to vote. 
So once you log in, you wait to be told to vote. Okay, log in now. Okay, you can now vote. No? Not yet. Is it malfunctioning? Eh? All the honorable members, all the honorable members, what appears to be happening is when I am instructing the House to log in, some of you are taking inordinately long to do so. So by the time the six seconds are over, some of you start logging in again. Let's synchronize our conduct now. Take out your cards. Take out your cards, log in. Okay. And remain silent. Don't vote until you are told to do so. Be patient with the system, it's going to work. Vote now. Member for Busia, I don't know what has been exciting you the whole day. There is no provision in the standing orders for you to clap or to jump or to shout. Any member whose vote is not recorded and you have the capacity to know, I'll give you an opportunity to register your vote with the clerks. After editi auditing, how you have voted. Order. <laughs> order member for Nandi County. It is out of order to take pictures in the chamber.
Order, honorable members, order. It doesn't matter. Take your seat, take your seat. Order, honorable members. Order. Order, honorable members. I know there could be members 